In our previous lesson, we have learned about kinetic energy and potential energy. But my question is, can we convert kinetic energy into potential energy? Or can we convert any form of energy into other? The answer is yes. In fact, all forms of energy are interconvertible to other form. We come across energy conservation in our day-to-day -day life. Like when we switch on the electric fan, the electrical energy is converted into kinetic energy. Students, try to find out more examples for energy conservation. Till now, we have seen that one form of energy is converted into other form. But whatever odds are, the total energy remains conserved. Here, in this lesson, we are going to discuss about law of conservation of energy. According to law of conservation of energy, it states that energy can neither be created nor be destroyed. It can transfer from one form into another. Let's understand law of conservation of energy with the help of an example. As you can see, the ball is kept on a roof of a building of a height h. Let's mark that point as A. So at point A, the potential energy will be maximum and the kinetic energy will be zero. So the total energy at point A will be potential energy plus kinetic energy, which is equal to mgh plus zero, which gives you mgh. So the total energy at point A is equal to mgh. So now let's drop the ball. So as it is in a free fall, the only force acting on the ball is force of gravity. As the ball comes down, let's consider a point at the middle of the building and let's call that point as point B. At point B, the potential energy is less than that of point A and the height is also less than that of H. Let's call it as H dash. And also the ball had gained a velocity V. So at point B, the total energy is equal to half mv squared plus mg h dash. Here at point B, the kinetic energy gained is equal to the loss of potential energy. Now let's consider a point just before the ball hits the ground. Let's name that point as point C. Here at point C, the potential energy is zero because the height is equal to zero. At point C, the velocity is maximum so that the kinetic energy is at its max. So the total energy at point C will be zero plus half mv squared. Here, if we consider our three points, point A, point B and point C, what we have observed is the total energy remains the same. The only thing happened is the energy is converted into another form that is either potential energy is converted into kinetic energy or kinetic energy is converted into potential energy. So if you analyze all the three points that is point A, point B and point C, the total energy always remained the same. It only got converted from one form to another. Here, in this lesson, we have understood about law of conservation of energy, which states that energy can neither be created nor be destroyed. It can only be converted from one form into another. 